hey what's up everyone in today's video we will be creating this simple sweet and short animation of a rocket which we created in the last video and also if you want to grab this project file it's available on patreon and it's linked below in video description all right cool here we are in our scene now go ahead and apply the decursor to world origin and now let's add an empty plane axis and scale it up after that select all our rocket parts and parent it to empty plane axis by hitting ctrl plus p and choose object key transform so that basically you can use empty plane axis to rotate scale and move rocket in anywhere of our scene cool now Select all of this fire mesh which we created using metaballs and then join them together to create a single mesh. Just hit Ctrl plus J to join them. And after that hit Ctrl plus A to apply all transform. Cool. Now add a displace modifier and hit new to create a texture. And then go to texture properties and change type to clouds and then set the size to 0.5. And under Displace Modifier, change the strength also to 0 0.5. Now add another empty plane axis and move it up. Go ahead, change the Displace Coordinates from Local to Object and then with Eyedropper Tool, select that empty plane axis. Now let's set our timeline to 120 frames and then add a keyframe to our NT axis by hitting I and then choose location. Then go to the last frame, move our NT axis to down and add another keyframe for this new location. And then select both the keyframes and set interpolation to linear. Alright, now select that another smoke mesh, apply the transform and uh, add a displace modifier on that too. Then hit new, go to texture properties, change type to clouds and change the size to 2. Alright, now let's add another empty axis and move it down at this new location and uh, then go change coordinates to object and again with the help of eyedropper tool select that newly added empty axis now just go ahead and add a keyframe at this uh, location and uh, then just move the empty plane axis up in this new location and add uh, another keyframe Alright, that's looking really cool. Now select our camera and then pull out another window from bottom right and change it to graph editor. After that, just add a new keyframe for a camera location and then in graph editor under camera object, transform select Z location. Okay, and then hit N to open right side panel, then go to modifier and add a noise modifier and then just reduce the strain value to 0 0.5 cool now one more last step is that go ahead and do the same thing for rocket parent empty plane axis and add a keyframe at a location then under object transform select z location and add a noise monitor and set the scale value to 3 and strength value to 0 Now under object transformation select the Z rotation and again add a noise modifier and set the scale to 11 and strength to 0 0.08.
Well, that's all the steps to create this cool animation. Now, after just go to output properties and select an output folder and just export the animation as PNG sequence and then hit render animation. Also, if you want to directly export it as a MP4 video, then change the file format to MFAP MPEG video and under encoding change container to MPEG4 and call it to lossless. Well, if you have a good graphic card, then keep the render samples around 100 and if you don't, just keep it around 30 to 50. I hope you like this video, so please make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.